in the previous video we have completed the structure for this snap but now in this video we are going to build the css so for that the first thing what you have to do is just have to import this style.scss in this index file and after that we'll first start with this main wrapper class so let's copy this so the first thing we'll be taking some background color and for this we'll be using var and let's copy the variable from the main index.css and you'll see that we have this particular variable the nav background color so i'll just paste it here now let's take some height of 80px we'll do display flex and let's make justify content as center align items will be center and also we'll do font size as 1.2 rem that's it now let's save this and let's check what we are getting all right so you can see that now we are getting the background and everything now next thing we have to target this container class so for this let's copy this and we'll paste it here so the first thing this will be display flex and only we want to make the align items as center so that that will be vertically centered now then we'll make the width as 100 percent height let's make this one as inherit so that it will take from this 80 px and also it takes some padding of 0 px and 20 px that's it now let's check once and all right so you see this is now looking fine next thing we have to target the logo so let's copy this logo class so we have to paste it inside of this container so the first thing will be taking the color as where and this will be yellow theme main color so that is the yellow main color then we'll take the cursor as pointer and i think that's it so if i just save this and let's check what we are getting all right now this is fine now next thing start with this menus so basically menus are basically this ul and li that we have created so this is the ul wrapper class so i'll just copy this and this will be after this logo so you have to target here and what we will be doing the first thing will be display will be flex for this one and we'll take list type as none so there should not be any circle so if i just go here you'll see that we are getting some particular circle here uh, all right and next thing let's take the text align as center that's it and let's check what we are getting now all right this is fine and the next thing is that if you remember uh, in the final version we don't have this icon for the desktop devices this icon will only be accessible for mobile devices for desktop devices we just have to hide this and that is pretty simple let's do that one first so i'll just go there and i'll just copy this class so for this class i'll just directly access here i'll just make the display as none that's it so if i just save now and let's check so you can see that the icon is now not visible that's it and now what we have to do next we have to target the items or basically the li items so for that let's copy this li class so i'll just copy this and this will be first we will take the line height for this li items as 40 px we'll take margin right for each and every one 1.5 rem and also we take font size as 1.6 rem all right let's save this and let's check what we are reading all right now this is fine and now next thing what we have to do i think there is some structure mistake let me check once so if i just inspect here so what we can do basically we can give this container class flex grow as one let me check once so yeah so now you'll see that now this is fine all right so now let's go there and let's give here we'll give flex as one so if i now save this and let's check once all right now this is fine now next thing actually basically what we have to do in the final version let me check that once all right so as you can see that we have this particular border on hover of these particular items so that we have to do so for that let's do one thing what we can do here basically inside this item we'll target the item after class so this will be after and here what we'll be doing we'll give content as empty then we'll make display as block let's give height as 3px width will be zero for the first time 
all right because on hover we have to make the width as 100 percent so first time width will be zero background will be transparent obviously and let's do one thing let's give some transition transition will give us all 0 0.5 second is all right now what you have to do you have to target the hover class and to do that what we can do basically here we can target this hover class like this and then we have just have to do after so when we will hover and then we'll targeting this after class you can see that so now here basically we just have to make this width as 100 percent and we can make the background as the main color so this will be yellow theme main color so if i now save this and let's check so let's go here and now you'll see that now we are getting this border bottom all right on hover so this is working fine now next thing what we have to do basically we have to target these links so if i just go back and i'll see that inside this item we have this particular links and i think we can target here so this will be links and here basically we can target color as the main color obviously and then we can do text decoration as none and also let's give padding of 0 0.5 rem and i think that's it so if i just save the changes and let's check what we are getting all right so as you can see that now this is looking fine now what we have to do basically we just have to work on the media queries so for mobile devices we basically so if i just go for mobile devices here and you'll see that below 768 so we have to show this icon and we have to show this particular overlay all right so that we have to do so for that first thing what we can do we can write some media query here so this will be at the rate media only screen and we just have to take here max width will be 768px and the first thing what we are going to target we are going to target the menu or basically that evil class so let's copy that so this will be this particular class so we'll just do here dot menu and the first thing will be display will be now flex flex direction we have to do column obviously and next thing we'll do justify content as center width will be 100 percent then we'll make border top as 1px will give solid and then white and also we'll do position as absolute top will be 80px and the reason is because the height of that particular neighbor is 80px so that's why we are taking the top as 80px so if i just go here you'll see that this is the height so if i just click here this should come below 80px all right so i think there is no border top so i think we can remove this particular part and next we have to take the left as minus 110 percent the reason is that until we click on this particular icon this will be like we'll not able to see that so the display will be hidden so that is the reason we are taking the left as minus 110 percent once we click on this icon this will be zero so that time we will be able to see this particular event all right so now that is fine next what we can do we can take opacity as one and also we'll take the transition the same transition this will be all 0 0.5 second and also the style will be is that's it so now let's check what we are getting so if i just go here and also another very important point that below 768 we have to make that icon uh, display as visible so that we can do we just target that dot nav icon so the first thing will be what we can do here the display will make as block and the cursor will be obviously pointer for this one and the color we have to take so the color will be the main color that's it so now if i just save this and let's check all right so now we are getting this and i think there is some padding is required so let's take some padding right of 20 px so we'll just go here and do 20 px all right so now this is fine so let's do here padding right as 20 px so basically now what we have to do on click of that we have to show that particular ul class so for that i think we have to add some active class here right so that we can check basically we have this particular toggle icon right so we can check that what we can do here so we have to take some condition so if toggle icon is 
add it that means what we can do or else let's do like this i'll take another bracket here and we'll take template literals so this will be the common class so i'll just copy this and here basically inside of this we can check if this toggle icon is clicked or basically if this is true so i think this part we can remove and here we just have to take this so if this is true we'll add some active class or else this will be empty that's it so now what we have to do basically we have to target this active class so we'll go here and inside this we have to target that active class so this will be dot active so now if i just hover here you can see that what you are going to see this is basically targeting that never menu class so basically this is the main class and then automatically active class is getting activated here so the first thing we have to do we have to take background and we'll take this color 181818 18, and we have to make the left as now 0px and the reason because previously this was minus 110 percent so now this will be visible all right opacity we have already taken so we'll take as one and i think that's it so let's check what we are getting so if i just save all of this all right see now we are getting this so now this is working so now we just have to give some padding and everything for this li items to look this on better so let's go here and what we can do basically here we have to target that item so if i'm not wrong we can just copy this particular class so this will be item and we have to go inside of this sorry not this here and the first thing we can take some border bottom so this will be 1px solid and the color will take as 282828 and we'll take some margin of 0px and also obviously we have to give padding so padding will take as top bottom 20px and 0px all right now let's check what we are getting so if i just save the changes and go back all right now you'll see that this is coming fine if i just close this this is working fine and also if i just go beyond 768 so this is getting changed and i think this is working so that's all for this video so we, we have completed the number section now in the next video what we will be doing let me go to the home page so we will be integrating this particle just first and then we'll be start working on this typing effect and this particular button let's do that so if you like this video just give a like comment down and please subscribe to my channel thank you